Ooh, Jared and Lindsay here in Orlando, Florida for Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 28, 2018. Oh man, I'm so excited. I love Halloween Horror Nights. But it does feel like I was just here for Halloween Horror Nights 27 though. This year really just completely flew by. But I'm so excited, I can't wait to get in there. Start cranking out these haunts and scare zones tonight. Just so awesome. And here we go. Okay, I got my Horror Night tickets, but we gotta go pick up our annual passes real quick. Well, here we go, and we're walking into the harvest first. Yeah, look at that. Look at the dude with the pumpkin. He's, I don't know, he's tracking somebody down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's poltergeist. I don't know if you can see it. Trick or treat. Oh, man, that's so awesome. They did a really good job in this one this year. <laughs> really good this year. <laughs> We're getting ready to go into the first house of the night, Trick or Treat. And this is one we are super excited for. And here we go. About to go into Trick or Treat. Just a few more minutes. Look at that giant facade. We got some pumpkins on the fence. Oh man, I'm so excited. Can't wait for this one. Dude, Trick or Treat was awesome. I loved it. It was so good. They had one prop in there that I'm used to seeing because I have a haunted house, so I was familiar with it. But it was just different, just slightly different enough that it caught me off guard and I actually got a good jump scare with it. That one's going to be really tough to uh, top, I think. But what do you think of Trick or Treat? I thought it was amazing. They hit it great. The decorations were great. You thought you were in the Trick or Treat scenery. They had pumpkins and lots of Sam's and I guess scared twice. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah, I got a couple pretty decent jump scares. It was a lot of fun, man. The scenery in there is awesome. They just did such a great job. So I think we're going to go check out Slaughtered Cinema next. The wait said an hour, but I don't know. They're all pretty long tonight, so we might have to suck it up and wait. He was done. I think it sucks that the Simpson ride's not open tonight. We usually always ride this on Halloween Horror Nights. So I guess we're breaking the tradition this year because we have to. Rusty! <laughs> oh man, that kind of bums me out. Ah, eh, Slaughtered Cinema is an hour wait, but we're gonna do it anyway. Entrance. Have fun. Thank you. I will have fun. Lots of fun. Oh man, I'm not really looking forward to waiting an hour. An hour. Here we go, getting ready to go into Slaughtered Cinema. That wasn't too bad a wait, it wasn't no hour. But they've been playing these awesome movies up here on this screen. And we're real excited to go in here right now. got done with Slaughtered Cinema, and that one was just as awesome as Trick or Treat, if not better. They were playing awesome little movie trailers in line on that big screen, and then as you went through the house, you saw all of those movies in different scenes. So I thought that one was incredible. That was that and Halloween are the two I was looking forward to the most, and it dis did not disappoint. And I don't think the wait was an hour. It didn't seem that long. So what did you... Oh. What did you think of it? I thought it was really well done. There was a lot of different movies in there, and they were all really good. I actually didn't think I would like that one, but I did. They did a really, really good job in there. Yeah, that was pretty incredible. I think I got two really good 
good scares, so that's pretty good if I can get startled really good twice. And then maybe a couple slight ones, so. Yeah. And the Swamp Yetis look cool, but they didn't get me because I saw them jump out at the people ahead of me. Right here by Trick or Treat and Seeds of Extinction. And they just got this awesome surround for the pizza fries. I'm not going to get any pizza fries tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Oh man, I don't know what this is for. But it's awesome. Dude, that is so cool. There's just this awesome old looking church. Look at that. Check out this graveyard. scare zone I don't think oh we're entering twisted tradition here we go transporting the township of Cary Out of this guy, he's got pumpkin seeds on his face. Oh, you can't see him, it's too dark. Just hundreds of pumpkins in the trees. smashed pumpkins yeah they do they look incredible I don't know if you can tell it's a wagon full of rotten pumpkins Wow Man, so far the two scare zones I went through this year are just awesome. Well, we decided to backtrack a little bit. We've come back to Seeds of Extinction and we're gonna do that. I don't know if you can see, because there's quite a bit of glare on the TV, but it's about a 40 minute wait. Look how wide this queue line starts. <laughs> it's like the size of a parking lot before it narrows down. No, we're not going to Barney. We're going to Seeds of Extinction, at least I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to be very, very surprised here in 40 minutes. That's kind of spooky. I mean, I don't know if it's really like haunted house quality, but... Huh. We got this school bus in Seeds of Extinction with vines and stuff growing in it. So that's the facade for Seeds of Extinction. School bus with vines. Now they got something over there. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It's kind of hard to see. It's dark. It's kind of hard to read, but they are projecting on the door in front of the Caesar Extinction building, but it's kind of hard to see unless you're standing in one particular place in the queue line. Hey, there's a good shot of the entrance to Seeds of Extinction. And here we are. Man, we are almost there. And also, they don't look so much like vines in the school bus like I initially thought. They look more like tree branches. So, all right, here we go. We're next. 
Oh man, these haunts just keep getting better and better through the night. We just got out of Seeds of, seeds of Extinction, and that has got to be one of the most detailed haunts I've been in. So far, such a hit this year, man. Everything so far in Horror Nights has been great. Every haunt, every scare zone. And I thought last year was awesome. It was the best year yet. Yeah, that had some great sound effects. Some great scares. The only slight downfall with that one was that was really crowded going through. They really had us packed in, so it was pretty slow. But even being... Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. Even though it was slow like and crowded, I still got a lot of good scares. It's a straight on shot of the trick or treat facade. I'm not sure. That might, so far, maybe that was my favorite for the night. Here we go, heading into the Chucky Scare Zone. Yeah, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That is an awesome teddy bear. Oh my god, the fog! The fog, no! <laughs> Dude, what's this? There we go. Taste buds, safety bake, play pals, toys. a monkey in a barrel or barrel of monkeys I misspoke I got excited monkey mayhem so strangely absent from Chucky's uh, scare zone is Chucky himself I'll have to go back through it and see if I can see him this time. Give a 
feel like a moment's been ruined? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. bring him over here. What does the shirt say? Afraid of you? No. I don't think so. Run! Yeah, you should tell that to all these people right here. That's right. <laughs> no, I'm not done with you yet. What's your name? Cat. Where are you from? Cat. I'm from New York. Don't be proud of that. Don't don't cheer her on. She's from New York. Don't be proud of that cat. What do you mean watch out? Watch out! Because cat said so. What part of New York are you from? anticipated the most this year it's a 45 minute wait but i really really want to do it so here we go i'm super excited halloween We just got done with Halloween 4, and it was good. It was real good. I don't think it was as good as the other three we've done tonight, but it was still real good. A couple of the scenes I didn't remember from the movie, but I did get scared, I don't know, maybe three times in there. It seemed like all the Mike Myers jumped out just before I got there or just after, so. They were all in really good spots, though. Yeah, they were. I think if you would have went through in a group where you weren't a line like you are in every haunt at Horror Nights, that would have been a real scary haunt. Yeah, me too. Lindsay got scared twice by the same Mike Meyer and by a security person that wasn't even trying to scare her. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to see. It's getting late. We're going to see if we can get one or two more haunts in tonight. Here we go, heading into Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I'm not sure what's going on. It looks like they're all just standing around at the moment.
20 minute wait only for Carnival Graveyard. We are jumping in this one next. It's only 25 minutes, so I think we're gonna risk it. We just got done with Carnival Graveyard and we jumped into Poltergeist, but Carnival Graveyard, I thought, was awesome looking. It looked really good. I really liked the theming. I loved the idea. I got scared a couple times. The only criticism I had of that particular haunt was it was so loud inside there that a couple of the actors jumped out and I didn't even notice because the ambient music inside there was cranked up so much. I didn't hear their little scare music. Uh, what'd you think of it, dear? It wasn't my favorite, but it did like the very beginning and the, they had a lot of really cool decorations in the first, I don't know, third of it. And the rest of it, I don't know, maybe it wasn't because I wasn't feeling well, but it was a good haunt. I think it's my favorite looking one so far of the night. Not my favorite haunt, but my favorite looking one for sure. It was awesome. Here we go. We are getting ready to walk into Poltergeist. It's one of the last haunts we're going to do for tonight. So, I'll see you on the other side. Hopefully this one is really good. Last one. Scary Tales. Park's just about to close, so I think it's pretty much just walk right in. So, last haunt of the night. And I'm pretty excited about this one too. Woo, man, what a night it's been too. Well, the park's about to close. As you can see, they're starting to tear the stanchions down. But we're going in for one last haunt. We are going into, what's this one? Scary, Scary Tales. Scary Tales? Scary Tales, and there is zero weight. Wow, Scary Tales was so good. <laughs> it was? That was, <laughs> that was so awesome, man. I loved the little twisted takes on the... Yes, and I got wet like three times. Yeah, I got wet. Not as wet as I got in... Uh, what was... Oh, Carnival Graveyard. I got sprayed pretty good on the butt with some water. But... <laughs> so, yeah, dude. Scary Tales. That was that awesome. Was Every single haunt we did was awesome. They did a, just an awesome job this year. Just fantastic. This is the best yeah. year I've been, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we also did Poltergeist. We didn't get to talk about that when we came out because we had to run right into Scary Tales. Oh gosh, that one was great. Yeah, I had, I've seen the movie, but I don't really remember it. So there was a lot of parts in there that I was confused on. There was like how it started out and stuff. Oh, well. But I thought it looked really good and they had some really good scares. Yeah. It was very yeah, impressive. The movie very closely. Did it? Yeah, well, from what I remember. There was some stuff I didn't remember, but most of it came back to me when we went in there. Yeah, but they did a really good job with the scares too in that one yeah. and the sound. That one, I think Poltergeist especially, I thought would be super scary if you had to go through by yourself. It's cold too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I got blasted. Oh yeah, cold there's air. They got like a hurricane yeah. going on through there. So, so you start out in a rainstorm. Yep. Well, 
that's going to do it for us from Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 28 tonight. The park is closing down, so we've got to get out of here, but we had an awesome time. I think this is the best year yet that I've been to. But it's not the last time we're going to be here, so I can't wait to come back and try all the haunts and scare zones again and see if my favorites are the same as they were today. So take care. Thanks for watching.